Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Sarin and today we're gonna watch the Wargaming video which brings us more content in the world of tanks because we already had we didn't have enough content. And that is the random events and the dynamic cover in Ricker missions. So they are gonna bring to the common test some of these mechanics as well, probably updated and probably reworked. Yeah, it's so been a lot added to the world of tanks which I like. Many new locations have appeared, and players' opportunities on them have steadily increased. First, vehicles began to roll down steep slopes. Oh my god, this is such a good memory, guys. This is such a good, so this is such a good video. <laughs> Later, players could fight inside the buildings, where artillery fire was no threat. Oh. Then, with update 1.0, the battlefields acquired a completely new look, and yep. destructible objects became an integral part of tactical decisions in battle. As we've continued to create new maps, we've brought fresh design ideas to life, such as multi-level complexity. And oh. now, the game has reached a new I didn't knew that, I didn't know this. Get ready for maps to change right in battle, offering a range of new tactical opportunities. That's a bit of, of history course, which these are important I like. Changes that require a careful approach. That's why we need your help thoroughly reviewing the concept of random Wargaming bringing uh, the community to help. Wow. That's really nice. Cover in the recon mission mode. By design, random events and dynamic cover should create more interesting situations in battle. Oh yeah, While the train. Observing the gameplay yes. basics, what you'll see in the upcoming launch of recon mission are just the first stages that we're ready to release for testing. It should be enough to evaluate our general ideas, so we can improve the visuals later. Well. I mean, literally, the visuals are so great. Random events are spectacular changes that transform the map right in the middle of battle. In Safe Haven, the ship rams the dock and blocks the line of fire. We had this on the super test as well. Well, not the super test on the common plane test. crashes into the bunker, blocking the pass between the bunker and port. And the bombers destroy the bridge in the field. The visuals are really, really nice. And also, On it's the and first thing when you actually have this, which uh, shifts the meta to um, from a flank to flank, for example, in Prohorovka, if there are going to be any light tanks in the bushes, the plane uh, that is going to destroy the bushes are going to uh, force them to get out of there, and everything like that. On top of that, the ship and everything. So it is going to bring some more variety to the maps in uh, World of Tanks therefore there are gonna be less camping hopefully this is pro probably what are those uh, random events gonna help the most but um, yeah I believe Wargaming got the feedback from the community from the common test back like a month ago or something like that and now they are probably they rework some of them or improved so uh, let's see what they have to say hits the locomotive as it's leaving the train yard Here, the scattered train cars will serve as good cover. A falling zeppelin changes the landscape on the central square and tank alley. That probably is like the best one. And also creates a descent from the hill to the heavy tank positions. On Prokhorovka, planes crash there we into go. an alley and a hill. Scorch and in terms of the visual, I have to make a big point on uh, Wargaming's uh, hardware optimization because I have an, uh, I think it's 7 years old graphics card, it's a 1050Ti and it's still on um, on hard graphics on the highest settings, I still run on like 100-110 FPS so I'm really amazed by their graphics. Which is always a good thing. Watching part of the bushes, but also creating new cover. The train at the center of the map also derails, allowing several tanks to find cover behind its crashed car. Well, that's gonna be a big one. That's gonna actually be a really big one on Prokhovka. <laughs> Through 
Schoenberg is attacked from the air. The bombs destroy several houses in the village, creating convenient cover. An additional pass through the central blocks appears in the town, forming a new direction of attack that opens the line of fire. I'm not really a big fan of Schoenberg. It's like they usually have the same playstyle every and ever again. Occur, we'll so, uh, the oh, that's actually that's actually. A and all events a good change one. the key positions. It's up to you to decide how you to can actually push a wreck. Favorable circumstances. You can use them to break a deadlock, attack from an unexpected direction, or even turn the tide of battle. These random events will make your game experience more diverse and introduce. And on top of that, those random events are random. They can happen in the maybe in the first three minutes, or maybe in the last ten minutes. So it is gonna be like you cannot really see like the timer is like there are nine minutes left of the game an event is gonna happen no it's gonna happen really randomly and possibly i guess it will never happen once in a while i mean it's really dependent it can happen in one or three positions or something like that as long as i read but um, yeah every every game are not gonna be the same to say so without breaking the general concept of the battle and map right before each event you'll hear a warning sound and see a red zone with a timer yeah, good luck going back with the United Five. Inside the zone is fatal for your vehicle, but pay attention when retreating. Try not to expose yourself to enemy fire, and you'll keep your tank safe. Depending on the zone, you'll be given a certain amount of time to retreat. Since we're in the testing stages, staying in a zone will result in full vehicle destruction. But this might change in the future. Oh, so be ready really? For all kinds of possible outcomes. Each event will only last several seconds. After that, the landscape will change and the zone will become safe. But new passages, lines of fire, or cover may appear. Yeah, for Horoka it's not gonna be never the same. You can get Hulan over there, imagine bringing the chieftain here. Damn. The events in recon mission will occur with a 100% probability and at a certain oh, there time, we go. so that we have enough data after the testing. So it will ever happen. It's never. There's gonna be like a small chance where it never happened. But in the future, events may happen at different stages of battle depending on a number of factors, such as the battle time or a certain in-game situation. Or they might not happen at all. Oh, That's there we go. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> we plan to make these events an integral part of the map design, their balance, and the gameplay process. So for now. Oh, wow. Wargaming thinking about balancing? Damn, that's uh, that's really bold for more gaming. Let's see how this turns out. Dynamic cover. Dynamic cover provides just as many gameplay opportunities. Some objects such as tank racks, train cars, containers, and concrete blocks will be movable. Some of them will be marked with a special color. Yellow, I think. Half of the objects can be destroyed with shots, which reduce their hit points until they are demolished. By looking at them, you'll be able to tell how much longer they have left. Okay, so by the looks of it, the um, the the concrete barrier and the container can be destroyed and what about those ones dynamic cover expands your tactical opportunities and adds new ways to fight in battle it also allows you to attack from unexpected directions all while covering yourself or even your ally that is insane that is literally insane Get ready for dynamic cover and random events in Recon Mission. During its two-week run, you'll be able to earn great rewards. Oh, including Boy. days of World of Tanks premium account. Is this on the test server or on the on the live server? This mode. The progression will be reset after a week, meaning that you can complete it again and receive rewards again too. Wait, so you can get can get in total eight days of premium and roughly tons of directives as well for playing 50 battles so uh, that's actually quite decent rewards 
battles in the mode are played in tier 8 to 10 vehicles. If you don't have the premium. And will count towards the random battle statistics. You can complete all types of missions in recon mission, other than personal mission and tour of duty. You can oh. also earn bonds, battle pass points, medals, decals, mastery badges, and marks of excellence. Marks of excellence, okay, okay. In the mode, you'll be asked to answer a survey. There, you can share your thoughts on the new feature. And guys, try to be as positive, actually as uh, realistic as you can. Try to be as explicit as uh, you want, because this is the only way where gaming can balance those things and see what the community likes and what they don't like. So try to be as uh, as descriptive as possible. In the future, you can expect other implementations of the new generation of maps, but for now, we need you to evaluate our ideas there we go. for random events and dynamic cover. We may make some dramatic changes before the final release. I like the recon that. mission is an excellent opportunity for you to influence the future of the game. Try the first of the new generation of maps in recon mission. Earn rewards and share your feedback. Good luck on the battlefield. Okay, good luck on the battlefield. So, um, once again, the same as with what plus where gaming is, is actually listening to the community and is asking for feedback and um, I'm really looking forward to play those recon missions inside the live server and uh, I like well, once again what we are taking steps little by little which is really good in my opinion and uh, this is probably how they should do everything um, tr trying to get the players back as well trying to keep the community but um, yeah the new random events I actually like the idea because you can get, um, I think I made some videos about stalemates in World of Tanks and uh, those random events can actually change the um, change from people that are camping to make some push plays, to make new strategies and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, I actually like this, uh, actually like this random events and dynamic cover uh, for uh, World of Tanks and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave um, a feedback as well to Wargaming to to let uh, to let them know what do you think about their updates and uh, their fair and balance so yeah this was the video from my side thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see legends with the next one bye bye